I, I want to quickly switch to a, a different conversation um, because now that we have you, I want to explore, explore this with you in, in a few minutes that we have left. So there is um, crisis, as we understand, um, or allegedly in, in the Ado State government. We understand that as, as we speak, um, the, the governor and the deputy governor are not on talking terms. And that's, that's surprising for a lot of people. We've seen governors and deputies fall out before. But um, Governor Basaki and the deputy governor Shaibu were seen as um, really close because, um, as it were, they have fought a lot of battles together. What exactly is happening? Yeah, I think it's uh, rather unfortunate because I have also followed and even spoken on the issue at different um, fora. And I have heard in the past in different fora where the governor referred to his deputy as his younger brother and the deputy will refer the, to the governor as his older brother. And uh, it brings to mind one fact, that in politics, there are bound to be conflicts. It's how we manage conflicts that matters. Because uh, hearing the governor say that uh, his deputy is planning a coup d'etat, and uh, the initial um, court action filed by the deputy saying that the governor wants to impeach him, shows that there is a crisis and the buck actually stops on the table of the governor to put his own house in order because Edo people elected both of them on the joint tickets. And in this joint ticket, you have a senior partner, which in this case is a governor. So I expect him to show leadership. It is not a time for us to be hearing all manners of tito tato. Oh, uh, the deputy wanted some of the honorable members, or rather, the deputy wanted to decide who will speak up the House of Assembly so that with that he will plan a coup against me. I mean, it is not a sign of leadership because the box stops on, at the table of the governor. Most of the things the deputy has complained about are in court. As a lawyer, I don't think it would be good for me to dabble into that. But in the process, one will want to offer the opinion by way of an advice for the governor to put his house in order. Because Edo should not be in the, re in the news for all these bad reasons. We should try Amata, and just a minute. You know, discard this um, idea of... Amata, Amata, please, just, just give me a minute. Because the people voted him to develop the states, and I think governance should not be punctuated by political crisis. All right, and, and, and that's fine. But I want to ask you, because you seem to be saying, look, the box stops at, at the table of the governor, or at the desk of the governor. But a lot of people will say, um, when you look at Edo state, um, Shaibu has enjoyed a lot of popularity um, under, under this current administration. And that, and that look, it is, it is not, when you look at the structure in the country, it is not, it is not a normal thing for, for a deputy governor to enjoy that kind of popularity that perhaps that also signals support. So why do, do you think that, look, the, the, the buck only stops at the desk of the governor and that it, not the deputy governor to also try and make amends? The deputy governor has his own fault. I'm not, but in every house, there's a father, right? If there's a crisis in the house, the father is the one that is called to action because he heads the units. So I ask this simple question. You know, I think this thing has been out for a very long time, and I think it is proper for us to situate it. The deputy governor is a former NANS president. He's a former, a two-time member of the House of Assembly, was in the Federal House of Reps. It was from there he picked the tickets to run with the governor. So I don't think it is right or fair for people to say uh, it was the office that gave the deputy governor visibility. No, the deputy governor brought visibility to that office. And as such, it is because of his competence, the governor gave him certain responsibilities. So even if there are some issues internal to both of them, I don't think the governor should now take back these responsibilities. You agree with me that Bende Insurance was nowhere in the league table. It was the deputy governor that took them to the federation finals where they won, right? And as such, it is because of his competence. And I think that is what the governor should look out for. He's a young man with talent. He's a young man with energy. If he now decides that he wants to run for governor, the governor should not, on the basis of that, start with haunting him. Because the same governor cried in 2020 that the former governor of the state, Adam Somshomole, you know, in the spirit of Godfatherism, was trying to prevent his ambition. And I think this is a dramatic irony. It's history repeating itself. And elsewhere, I even did an analogy of the Shakespearean play, Just Caesar. because I have two minutes so left. We have a Caesar... We have a Brutus. All right, Mr. Mata, just a minute. I have two minutes left. I want to give um, Mr. Dododo just one minute to wait in on this matter. Uh, Mr. Dododo, uh, you've, you've heard what Mr. Ivata said. 
What's your thoughts on the way forward in addressing this particular issue in a dose state? Not everywhere. Nigeria everywhere. Uh, first. People first. Because they, they are there for the people. So the, the, the personal difference should not be as a dead stick or should not be as a determining point to the determinant of the people of your state. They should understand the asylum of the people. Therefore, they should not allow their personal misunderstanding to go under sabotage or deter the, 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 the life of the people of your state. Therefore, they should come down, their own party should wade in in order to tell them to stop this, let them focus their attention to the development of, of the, 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 the welfare of the people. So I think that is that's, that's not about that effect. The deputy governor and the governor, they are serving the people. They have to remember that people are there waiting and people are suffering. They should come to the aid of the people and make sure that people are enjoying. The public diplomacy should go there and tell the their political party so that uh, it will be not there. But they should not use that as a tool to go and start uh, you know, starting people over to put on the local eyes. That is uh, not acceptable, I think so. All right. Thank you so much for talking to us, uh, Mr. Sani Dodo, a public affairs analyst and former um, chairman okay. of the state's emergency management agency in Kebi State. And also, thank you so much for talking to us, Andrew Amatai, constitutional lawyer and the immediate past commissioner for communication and retention in Edo State. Good to have you, um, gentlemen. For well, having me. I'm grateful to be here. Yeah. All right. That's where we leave it on um, standpoint. I will have more for you. Remember, you can watch a repeat broadcast rather at 11 p.m. And at 5 a.m. on uh, Sunday morning. And Precious Amayo, thanks for watching.